What's up guys and welcome to another video. I am showing you guys this guide because a lot of people are having problems with the secure boot launch option for Battlefield 6 and it's very confusing so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in my BIOS at least which is going to be on the motherboard H310CM-B, a very old discontinued motherboard, very old. So it's a ASRock motherboard as well. So yeah, so what you're going to want to do is go into your BIOS, restart your system, hit the F2 key and or any key that's going to get you into the BIOS. Basically look it up for your kind of motherboard and your computer. Sometimes it's F8, sometimes it's F10 and so forth. Usually it's F2 for me. So you want to go in here, you're going to go into advanced options, which is usually F6 as well for me. So we're going to scroll over, keep going over until you see security and then you will find secure boot. This option right here, Intel platform trust technology, TT or TPM manual. <laughs> Uh, you're going to want to enable this. I did have this enabled and I don't know why it says disabled right now. I'm not going to touch anything because mine works right now. I have had problems doing this all day long. Very annoying, but I have it disabled. So I did enable it when this works. So maybe try to enable yours first before you do secure boot and then do this. Usually you have to have the setting enabled. Maybe it's a bug in the BIOS. Don't know, but it says disabled for me. Usually I have this enabled. So try enabled first, then do everything I say after this. And if it doesn't work, then keep this disabled. I don't know. Uh, yeah, very interesting how it says disabled, even though I had it enabled. So also another big thing that you have to do here, you actually have to go into your boot page as well. So you want to go into your boot page and then you're going to want to scroll down here, go all the way down for arrow keys until you find the CSM compatibility support module. So after you find this, you're going to want to enter. This is very important. You have to disable this. You have to disable this. So if you don't disable this, it will literally not work and they will conflict and con 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 collide or whatever. If you don't disable this, you just, your computer won't, it, it won't, it won't go. So you have to disable this, this is the CSM and yeah, just disable it. It was enabled for me before. This is what it shows when it's enabled for me. I have UEFI only and legacy only, but make sure this is disabled and that is in your boot settings. If you just scroll it right down to the boot slash CM compatibility support module and make sure that is disabled. That is like the only way it will work. You definitely have to have that disabled and it's all the way down there. But you go into the secure boot and you'll see this page right here. Sometimes this will say not user, it'll say something else. I'll get onto that. But right here is the secure boot. You're gonna wanna go here and enable this, go up here and just press enter and enable. And then sometimes it will say not active. What it said to me was not active the entire time and I was confused. So I found out basically how to fix that. So you're gonna come down here, you're gonna to go to secure boot customization. And then, you know, from standard, you go to custom. So after you go to custom, you're gonna to wanna to go down here and do clear secure boot keys. This is gonna clear all your keys. This is gonna change from user to, I forget what it says, something else, not available or something. And that's basically gonna make it so it's gonna be active again once you reboot. So after you clear the keys, then you're gonna to want to do this important step is install default secure boot keys. If you don't have this on your BIOS, it's a little bit different. I will be linking some videos on YouTube in the description below where you guys can go there and follow their kind of instructions and maybe it'll work on your BIOS. Yeah, your motherboard. It's very confusing stuff here. But other than that, you're gonna to wanna to do that and then install default keys after you clear secure boot keys. And then yeah, it says changes take effect after reboot. And then what I did was just install the boot keys here. And then you go to key management. As you can see, it does need the platform key PK, what I needed at least, and it's there. And other than that, that's basically all I did. And then I rebooted. I made sure to wait a minute until my system, you know, fully gained access because it will stay in the black screen for like a minute. So just wait, wait, wait wait over a minute, make sure it's not bugged or glitched out or anything. And yeah, if the computer does say like, you know, if, if it says like display port, um, not available or whatever, we'll keep waiting. If it doesn't go away, if the black screen doesn't go away and it goes into your windows, then you have a problem. Then what you're gonna wanna do, this didn't work. Then you're gonna wanna follow some other tutorials, see what happens and go in my description of this video and see if you can follow theirs. Maybe it'll work with their kind of, you know, tips, but this is basically what worked for me on this super old BIOS here. Now, what I did to fix the black screen and everything, I had to take apart my computer. Well, not take apart, but take off the glass, you know, case down there. And I had to basically go into the COM MS battery or whatever. I'll show a picture on the screen right now. That's kind of the battery spot that you have to take out. 
and also take out your RAM really quick and then put, you know, keep pressing the power button over and over again while everything's unplugged, of course, power supply is unplugged, everything's unplugged, then put your RAM back in, then put your battery back in. You're basically pressing that power button for like 10 seconds just to get all that energy and all that uh, electricity out of the system. So then it can kind of reboot once you put your little tiny coin battery back in there, you COMS, whatever, battery back in there to then reboot it. And then when you plug it in, it should go back to the default settings for the BIOS so you're not bricked your system. Um, other than that, that's basically all I really got to say. I mean, just put it to secure boot. I do not know why, again, why this says it's disabled. I did have it enabled. So like I said, make sure you enable this just in case. Yeah, just in case so it works. Um, I didn't have it disabled when I do it when I did it. So don't know why it says disabled. Maybe it's a bug. Who knows? BIOSes are very buggy. And yeah. That's basically how I did it right there. It says active instead of not active. Like mine said, not active. Now it says active after it rebooted and then it finally worked and everything like that. These definitely helped me where I had to clear the boot and then I had to install the default secure boot keys. This actually made it work after I cleared the boot because you're gonna wanna install these for this to work, of course. And there you go. It definitely works for me. It's completely fine. Everything's good. Early access, August 7th, pretty sick. Can't wait for this game to finally come out and uh and be able to be played on the open beta so yeah if that's what you want to do you make sure you just disable the csm or whatever it's called make sure you disable that that they can't run together and then enable the secure boot make sure you have the files for the secure boot so make sure you clear all the files first for the boot files or factory or reset the files i think that's what it's called on other bioses and then also you know install those other files those new boot files so the secure boot can work then you're going to want to do like i said in the video just make sure the uh, tpm is enabled as well which mine is disabled and it's still working so maybe it's a bug on my bios maybe it just enables it and it disables it and a fake disables it in the bios not sure like i said I will leave a ton of links to, you know, different outcomes and different like, you know, ways of fixing this in the description below. If you do get a black screen, remember, just go into the motherboard and uh, make sure you take that little battery out. It looks like a coin. Take it out. There's a little clip there at the bottom. Just take it out. Get a little flathead or something. Wiggle it out. And then uh, keep pressing your power button over and over again. Everything disconnected and your power supply off and everything disconnected, of course and take your RAM out as well, both your sticks, how many sticks you have a RAM in there from your motherboard, wait a couple seconds, keep pressing that power button to get all the electricity out for like 10 seconds and then put it all back in and then you should be able to start your system again. So don't freak out when it's black screen and it says, this, it says your display's messed up. Um, just do that and it'll, it'll go back on. Sometimes you don't even need to do that. Sometimes you can, you know, do what the guy said in one of the videos I'm gonna link in the description where you, you know, instead of having your display port plugged into your, what was it, your graphics card or something, you plug it into your motherboard. Um, you plug in the HDMI into your motherboard actually and then it will work. Um, but I rather just do a whole complete reset with the motherboard so you don't have to, you know, rely on HDMI for the rest of your life if you don't want to have HDMI for the rest of your life, you know. So other than that, if you guys have any more questions about this problem, the secure boot, leave a comment down below. I know it's a pain in the boot tox. It's very confusing, very weird how they're adding this, but it's just to prevent a lot of cheaters on this game. So that's good in a way. So just, you gotta do what you gotta do. Getting a phone call, but yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like on the video and make sure to the subscribe button as well. Like I said, if you can't figure out the problem, go in the description below and I'll leave links to other YouTube videos about this problem and also more, um, just, just more things about this problem in the description. So hopefully it fixed it for you. Have a great day night, guys, and peace.